Heidi, hi, Campbell. Hello. Heidi, hi. <laughs> How does it get any better than this? Welcome, 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 everyone. Um, I'm just going to give you a few seconds to all get on live so that I can see who's come and play. And um, so say hi when you're on board and seeing me in the chat. I have that up. Um, so please say hi. All right. So first things first. <laughs> um, what do you think of my dress? Let me show you. Let me show you. Hi, guys. Hi, Mary. Hey, Holly. Hey, Sue Ellen. Let me show you my dress. Ta -da! What do you think? Most of you saw my video on how to make fabric through spoon flour, and this was one of those pieces of material. Hello, Damien. Yay! My little ghost XD is live and watching too. How did I get so lucky? Hey, Ramona. Hey, Erica. Hey, Linda. Hey, YTJ in Dallas. <laughs> Three Fish Creations, Karina from Germany, yoo-hoo, Ms. H, hi there, now Ms. H, please share, what is your name? <laughs> Some of these names, Three Fish Creations, um, I would love to know what your real names are, it just makes responding to your comments on the channel so much easier. <laughs> um, hey Alexandra, ciao. Um, Carol, hi. Ms. H is Isla. Hi, Isla. <laughs> and Three Fresh Creations is Boyd. Hi, Boyd. Thank you, thank you. That makes things a lot easier for me. So for those of you just jumping on, I just did a bit of a twirl of my dress. I finished it last night. Um, and now I'm going to change view to that one. And while you guys are watching that, I am going to put on my top that I made with my material. And Doug's still Doug. Yay! How does it get any better than that? Hey, Doug. Yes, it is. So, Ellen, it is awesome to wear my own art. I've had lots and lots of comments about my top when I've worn it out. It's been a great promotion point for me. Um, what you're seeing on the screen right now is your options of what we can paint today. We've got a wallet, a breadboard, and a canvas. So let me know in the comments what you would like to me to paint on today. Sorry, Isla. My apologies. I have an Isla and an Isla in my life, and they're both spelt the same way as you, I-S-L-A, so I get confused. Which one's which? So Isla, awesome. Same as my niece. That's easy. Um, hey, Jackie from Florida. Uh, my wife and my business name for crafting. Oh, three fish creations. Okay, cool. I got you. I got you. Board smile. Yay. Um, wallet, board, all three. Jen, I like you. You want it all. <laughs> Hey, Tina Marie. Hey, Andrea. Redboard, no need for apologies. I answered to anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, come here. Um, all right, let's go back to the... Ah, where is it? Droid cam. No, I want... Webcam, that's the one I want. There we go. 
So this is my top. I love the cow neck. I like cow necks. They're great. I um, pulled a T-shirt apart and used it as a pattern because I love the shape of the T-shirt. So um, how does it get any better than that? So that's my T-shirt made from another one of my paintings. So let me just change that away and I'm going to go and put my painting clothes on now. Uh, so we need that one. Cutting board, breadboard, cutting board, the spanking paddle. <laughs> oh, Doug, I think it's something to do with the name. All other Dugs I know have that sort of sense of humour as well. Uh, Smythe is a different spelling from Smythe. Yes, sorry. my I'm a few feet away and I don't have my reading glasses on, so I apologise for all misreads. Love the colours. Thanks, Tim Marie. So beautiful, amazeball. Thanks, Ayla. Did you make these? Sew them. Yes, I did. I did, I did. I did indeed. I, um, oh, I am initiating other talents and abilities that I've forgotten I had. Um, hey, Holly Ann. <laughs> Uh, it's all good, it's all good. Of course it's all good. But actually, what if there's no right, no wrong, no good and no bad? How does it get better than that? So 90% of you have said the cutting board. So we will go for that. I am going to paint these other two today so that you will, you will see them later on in the week. So... Um, I've got a show coming up at Tamahiri. There's a, a market coming up and I am choosing to have a store there. And I found the wallets sell really well. People think they rock and I do too. So that's why I have one. <laughs> okay. So we're doing the cutting board. So the next question, now that we've got that out of the way, what colour do we paint it? We have some gold, deep turquoise, grass green, phthalo blue. It's a bit dark down there, isn't it? I wonder if we can get it to brighten up. What does that change? A little bit. All right, we'll try it with the spotlight on. But you still can't see the colours, can you? <laughs> That's better. We've got a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of Payne's Grey. We've got Burnt Sienna, Silver, Crimson Red, yellow, cerulean blue, and ultramarine blue. Uh, oh, got some yellow okra. I'm giving you far too many choices now, aren't I? What's in here? Oh, that's my scrapings from a painting I did the other day. <laughs> Hello, little paper wasp. You can go outside, thanks. Um, and that's all I have mixed up of, oh, white and black as well. So, what do we got? We are in February, and the challenge for February is red. So, um, oh, that's what that noise was. Okay. First four colours would be fab. Gold, turquoise, grass green and phthalo blue, says Isla. Tina Marie agrees. Doug wants me to do sunset over water again. <laughs> do you guys want a sneak peek as to what I have been playing, actually playing with 
And no, I'm not painting it on camera. Here we go. Well, I am painting it on camera, but not today. I'm going to be painting a ukulele. There is a ukulele, painted ukulele exhibition happening over in Tauranga. And I've got till the 16th of the month, so I need to get that painted today. Um, well, at least one side. Let it dry. Paint the other side. Let it dry. And hope like heck I can get it sealed and over to Tauranga by the 16th. And today is the third. Ah! So that is my secret project. That's what I was trying to do a sunset over water on. So no, Doug, I'm not doing another sunset over water. I've had enough of sunset over water. <laughs> Carol says blues. Linda says blues and gold. Andrea says turquoise blue, burnt sienna and white. Jackie says red, gold and blue. Ooh, I like that one. Off subject, Mickey, did you know that you are sitting on the sixth, uh, the eighth continent? Yes, I did. I do it indeed. Um, awesome. All of the, all of the what? <laughs> all of them. You want me to put some of all of them onto the spread board? That would be an interesting look. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm really resisting that one, Sue Ellen. Morning, Kate. Sign your name in red. February challenge covered. <laughs> I love it. Uh, then you can tiptoe tiptoe through the tulips with the ukulele. Yes. How does it get any better? Crying myself laughing. Yes, indeed. Okay. So. Teeny, meeny, miny, mo. for which one shall we go? We've got that option. We've got that option. And what was the other one that really popped out at me? It was red, blue, and gold that went ping at me, didn't it? Um, everyone's saying blue, so we've got to have a blue in there somewhere, which is handy because we've got three of them. Bye, Boyd. Did you ever think of making PJs? Oh, PJs out of material. Yeah, yeah, totally. But I never wear PJs, so um, that would be a bit of a waste, to be honest. <laughs> um, okay. Let's make that god-awful green again. Oh, I love you, Doug. <laughs> green, turquoise, and gold. Those three. The one thing about boat or I think I'm gonna have to add some white in because that's gonna be really, really, really dark. <clears throat> and last time I did like lots of dark colours. I'll show you what happened. Where did I put it? This is one of um, the ones I've got in my birthday sale. Um, if you haven't seen that I have an auction happening on my website mickeyart.co.nz forward slash birthday and if you opened my email and clicked that link in the first hour I'm sorry it didn't work but it does now um, so this is one of the ones that's on auction dollar reserve some of them have already got bids on them so and I'll be adding new ones daily so keep an eye on there see if there's anything that you want dollar plus postage reserve and it's an auction for a week so hey Sharon um yeah so it needs to have some something lighter in there my interesting point of view that had a lot of gold in it didn't it it's cool I like it anyway 
Let's get started. Party, party, party. All right. I have made a choice. So what I was just doing there, for those of you that are thinking, what the hell is that woman doing? Um, I was just asking the energy of which one wanted, to, which ones would be best for the breadboard, um, what the breadboard wanted to have on it. And what I got from the breadboard was it wanted these with some white. So we're going to go with that. So, so we've got gold, turquoise, Grass green, phthalo blue, and white. On a spanking paddle, as Doug calls it. It would do a good job. I got the paddle tennis bit on my bum when I was a kid for running in the classroom. I didn't like that teacher. His daughter was my best friend, but I hated him. Anyway. Cooler Bula. Bula bula man, bula bula. Or is it that way? I don't know. Hello from rainy Florida. Hey Chris, I loved your paintings you posted the other day, by the way. And I'm not going to call everybody out and tell them all that I love their paintings, but because I do, I love all of your paintings, the ones you post in the Facebook group. I'm super grateful you guys will choose that. Um. Use paper on these things. They make it look so renewable and shit. But this is plastic. Rah. All right. I'll just tighten that. If it's a spanking paddle, you can paint all of it. <laughs> yes, yes, I could. And then you write, how does it get better than this? And every time you spank, you say, how does it get better than this? How does it get better than this? How does it get better than this? Oh. <laughs> oh, dear me. And if any of you are wondering why there is a delay between what you see with my face and what you see with my hands, it's because there's a two meter cable that the data's got to go from the phone to get to the computer to join in and play. So it's just lag and the cabling. I'm sorry. Now, if I wash this, what will it create? If I don't wash it, what will it create? It's lighter to not wash it, so I'm not going to wash it. Which side am I painting on? That side. Okay, um, so when I'm asking these questions, guys, all I'm doing is um, looking at getting the energy of the target of what I'm looking to create. So um, a saleable item would be what I'm looking to create here. And um, what I, and then, so I get the energy of that and then I ask questions and see which response is matching the energy of what I'm looking to create. Um, usually looking for the lightness, the lightness of what light is right for you and what's heavy is a lie. So, and what's light for me may not be light for you. So just please, if you get a different response when I'm asking questions, you're not wrong. It's just you and I don't have the same Interesting point of view. Yeah. Where do I need to put this so that you can see all of it? My camera's moved. That's why. I had it all set up and looking good, but then I moved the camera. Um, right, spank and bold red on it. Ah, Canary Islands are in the house. Sydney, Australia is in the house. How does it get any better than that? Um, love the dresses, Maureen. Thank you. Where did we lose control? 
Control is not an option in this kind of painting, guys. Have you not noticed that? Painting and acrylic pouring, you have to be willing to be out of control. If you are not willing to be out of control, guess what happens? You judge the heck out of yourself. Everything you do is wrong. And that is not what I desire. So, are we doing a flip cup? Yes, or should I do stripes? See, Joe. Is that flip myth out the myth? <laughs> Flip. You, you got a reverse stutter. There is no F. Lip. Uh, uh, can't paint my, paint my lip. Mm. Mm. It doesn't work. Flip it, flip it, flip it. Flip it to the left. Flip it to the right. And no, I haven't been drinking. This is me. If you don't like it, go away. <laughs> uh, I had something on my stick then, obviously. Flip, string, swipe, four. Ah, uh, no. You know that two of those, the string and the swipe, are the least favourite, and I'm not messing up a breadboard. I'm happy to mess up um, canvases because you can just wash and reuse them. But if we're doing... Oh, that's another question. So, are we painting the whole thing or just the top? Just the top and handle, just a blob here. What are we doing? Because that depends on how big of this I do, because that's not going to cover all of that. Might, might. Actually, it would. It's quite similar to a flip cup. Yeah. It's probably about the same amount of handle pour. Paint the body. I will, I'll put resin over it. So if we paint the whole thing, then it wouldn't be suitable as a chopping board, but a serving board would be totally fine. Not the handle. You don't want to get paint on your hand when you're smacking bums. Mari, I'm sorry, YouTube chat does not have auto-translate and I have no idea what you're saying. I adore you to pour it out and smash it. Good to think. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I was thinking that too, a, a stripe down the middle. Okay. Let's do it. I'm not doing a strain of pour. Sorry, honey, not on a breadboard. Not today anyway. And I've just had a thought. I don't have any silicon in these. So, spray, baby. Let's spray it. Green. Gold. Just 
Turquoise, blue, white, if you just join us, this is grass green. Gold. Oh, spillage. Um, 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 um. They look blue. <laughs> yes, I'm as messy as you. Aquarius, oops, no, turquoise. And some more gold, because I like gold. I like gold LLC. Let's see. Let's see what that creates. Hey, Donna. Hey, Marsha. Sorry, Mary. We are not in February according to the colour choices of the day. This is, there is no red. All right. So we're going to have a stripe down the middle. Sorry, somebody said no handle. I did the handle. How do I get it brighter than that? Come on. Can I? Oh, that's right. That's right. Zoom me, zoom me. Spank them hard enough and you'll have red. Too true. Too true. Back out again. All right, so I'm going to torch it before we go any further and see if any of that silicon came to play. Can you guys hear the cicadas? Almost looks like a cello. It does. You're right. You guys don't usually get to see my concentration face. Deborah can only hear her cicadas at her house. Are you in New Zealand too, Deborah? I think I saw something that you commented on the other day that made me think that you were from New Zealand. And am I thinking of the right Deborah? Just hubby and his snoring. Must be your hubby. My hubby was out of bed this morning in time for me to do my class. This is the second live stream I've done today. But only the first one with you guys. Every morning at 7.30 every morning, I'm up, dressed, and online teaching a pulling in your reality class.
Oh, I'm loving that gold. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Let's see if I turn it around. Looks like a gator. I think it changed from the gator, Tina Murray. Well, that's stunning. Those colors are gorgeous. Sorry, whoever said don't do the handle. I did it. Nobody can really hear the cicadas. Now it looks, almost looks like the sun over water. I'm actually really loving these colors and I'm wondering whether I use those for the ukulele. I was trying to go for like a Hawaiian sunset beach, playing the ukulele, singing songs around the campfire kind of colour. Just checking all the edges. I like it. And it's gone dark again. Why is it going dark all the time? I've got all my lights on. It's a sunny day outside and it's still dark. I don't understand. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, Linda, you're just down the road though, honey. Wow, the top is beautiful. Is that my dress top, clothing top? Or my <laughs> I think you're watching from the beginning. I did a bamboo back scratcher a while ago, turned out good. Awesome. What kind of classes do I teach? I'm an access consciousness facilitator. Um, access consciousness is a set of tools and techniques and processes, verbal clearings and stuff that basically you can use to change anything in your life. Um, money, relationships. Being willing to be so out of control that you can paint like this. <laughs> Being willing to be an idiot on camera. Um, yeah. It's very cool. I, I love access consciousness tools. They are a huge gift in my life. And I love sharing them with people. Um, Andrea was asked to do two sunset over the water pause for work. I think I'm going to do two spirals on each, one in blues and greens and one in sunset colours. Cool. Let me know how it shows out. Because if you've been watching my channel lately. <laughs> Just beautiful. Thank you, Tina Marie. Isla says, I posted a video under your second, third attempt since... I'll have a look. I'm sorry, I'm about three or four days behind on my comments and I am trying desperately. But as the channel grows, the more comments grow. And <laughs> oh, what would it take for this to outcreate me? Um, board turned out amazing balls. Thank you, Isla. Andrea, I have been and seen your frustration. Yes. So I would love to see what you create, Andrea. That would be super cool. Outcreate me, darling. <laughs> cool. Very lovely. I like it a lot. Beautiful. It's not impossible, Isla. It's just a lot of work. It's a very good idea what you do. I'm looking from Frankfurt. Oh, welcome, Gina. We've got a couple of people on from um, from Germany. That is cool. Access consciousness. Just Google access consciousness. Um, or you can go to my other channel, which my other YouTube channel, which is Access U T B A C C E S S space y-o-u space tv access U TV. i've got a couple hundred videos on there as well um teaching the tools and there's links and stuff there um hey ireland hey new south wales jackie i love the board thank you board is super cool yay i think it's super cool too that's the sort of thing that somebody would hang on their wall as art and then when they want to serve like a fruit platter or something like that they take it down especially covered in resin so it looks like this again <laughs> that's the cool thing about resin it makes it look like look like the original wet paint okay so that my dears was fun does anybody have any questions Anything that I haven't covered in um, in my videos or that I have covered but you haven't watched that video yet, I'm so happy to answer any questions that you have about how I mix my paints or um, stuff like that. I'm just going to wash my hands. Oh, 
staying in the bedroom as uh yeah. Oh, yeah. Anything, anyone would think that your name was Doug Wall, not Doug Keller. Anyway, Doug Wall is a very good friend of mine and um, very similar sense of humour. On your record pause, do you cover the back when making it a clock? No. No, I don't. I don't even clean the paint off my records. Look at this. This is the back of this clock. You can still see the bits of paint where it's run over the edge. You can still see the label underneath the clock fitting. It's, it's art, mate. If you want clean and tidy, buy something self-printed. That's my point of view. This is art, and that, to me, is the proof that it is art. Um, yeah, it's an original, baby. Minus 37 on Wednesday, and today it's plus 39. Wow, that's a bit of a change. I don't really know Fahrenheit, but that's, that's a difference. Thank you, that's gorgeous. My pleasure, Marcia. Marcia. Doug and the board in the Red Room of Pain. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. <laughs> Kim asks, when you layer paints, does it matter if some are transparent and some and others are opaque? Now Personally, I bear absolutely no um, attention on that. I do know that phthalo blue is almost always transparent, and that's how you get these absolutely gorgeous blendings. I love it. Um, and I also know that this cobalt blue is opaque to heck and back, and I very rarely use it. Um, I remember when I first started painting and I watched a lot of Anne-Marie Ritterhoff's videos, like I just totally absorbed myself in her. And she used to talk a, a lot about um, doing, making sure that there was at least one opaque and one transparent. And she did a lot of teaching on how to work out what was what and how, what to find where and la, la, la. And um, I, I, I found that that actually required me to think far too much. And I started just asking the paints and the thing that I was painting on which colours to use. It does make a difference, yes. Um, and you do need to be aware of it if you're looking for a particular look. So, um, you know, gold can be, can appear transparent, but thick enough, and it's not. You need to, yeah, it, have it in your awareness if you're looking for a particular result. If you're just playing and having fun, and really don't give a toss what it looks like in the end, then don't bother about it. Don't make it significant. Um, and if you if you followed me for a while, you know that I make nothing significant. And if I'm trying to create something deliberately, I go, oh, fuck, that looks terrible. <laughs> Excuse my language. Um, and um, how can I make this better? What else is possible? So. It's up to you, and I really do um, – it's what makes it art, to be really honest. you It's your choices and your creation that make it art. If you tried to follow a recipe, it would be science. Does that make sense? 
obviously there's guidelines, suggestions about how to mix your paint, how thick to have it, whether or not to add silicon, those sorts of things. <clears throat> but it's your awareness and um, and your choices that create it into the art. You be you and change the world. Um, thank you, that's gorgeous. It's looking now like B-O-D-L. Bottle? Body? A body? Bottle? I'm not sure what that word is, Gina. I love the paint fingerprints. <laughs> Gives extra life to each creation. Holly Ann says, Ms. H, I'm waiting for my first order the set. It will ship out Wednesday. I'm excited. I'm not sure what that was about. All right, they're having their own little conversation, Holly Ann and Miss H. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Really do love you, Michelle. Oh, thank you, Sue. I'm so grateful that all of you come to play with me. Like, it's so much fun to to create these videos and, and interact with you on the comments and stuff like that. And just, it's fun for me. I, I adore you all. Thank you, Sue. Thanks for the info about layering. I love your work and your whole attitude about everything. Yay! Uh, well said, Mickey. Yay! Well, very well said, Eva. Uh, what causes lacing in the paint? What causes lacing? From my understanding of lacing, it's where... You have a very thin layer of a heavier paint. So like white and black tend to be considered heavier paints. Um, if you think of oil and water, the water would be the heavier paint because it sinks and the oil floats. Um, that's making it really, really, really um, simplistic. But all the paints have a different... What's that word? There's a word for it. Um, and the ones that are heavier will sink through the others. So if you have a very, and this is how um, swipes work, as well as with the silicon, but it, you tend to use a heavy, heavier paint thinned down and swipe across. And the heavy particles fall down through the lighter particles and but in some places it leaves traces of itself and that's the lacing. I sound like I feel like I waffled on that. I hope that was understandable. Do 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 bottle or drink. Oh, a bottle for drinking. Got you. Okay. Bottle, B-O-T-T-L-E. And for drinking, B-R-I-N-K-I-N-G, drinking. Um, Gina, my favourite tool on the internet is Google Translate. And you get to type in in your language what you want to say and tell it what language you want to translate to. And it, then you can just copy and paste it. That's how I do all my comments <laughs> for other languages. Um, oh, I just thought of something. You used a hair pick in, on a cityscape record pour once. It made the water like waves. Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, it was actually probably a toothpick. But not the, well, maybe it was hair picks. But you need to have quite a thick, like break your toothpick in half and use the thick end. So you've got quite a, a wide, 
this up here. All right, so a toothpick has a skinny end, and if you break it in the middle, it's fatter, all right? You need a wide, quite a wide base to drag through paint so that it actually, if it's too thin, it will just disappear. But yes, definitely, Andrea, for your waves. Good thinking. Density. Density. Thank you, Molly. Yes. <laughs> the density of the paint. That's what we needed. Da, 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 different densities. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, Mickey. I saw a girl from Ireland and had to ask about the Kitty Ink. Okay, cool. That's what that was about. Okay, cool. Great explanation. Appreciate. Yay. And I will watch that last night. Cool. All right. So I'm just going to do one more thing. And you guys know me. Can't not check what's underneath. What have we got? Not a lot, actually, to be honest. Let's see what else we get out of here. Down there. I'm just thinking these gold and dark blue always just yum 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 yum. I'm always trying to recreate lapis. I adore lapis. Lapis kind of impersonate, uh, not impersonates, personifies um, my ideal color combination. <laughs> um, and that's where I love phthalo blue and golds and, and stuff like that. So uh, specific gravity, that's the other one. Density and specific gravity, those are the ones that I needed. Thank you so much, Brenda. Um do, 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 do. Oh, thank you, Stacey. Everyone remember to hit the like button before you leave. Thank you. I never remember to say hit the like button. I do occasionally remember to hit, say hit subscribe, but if you're here, you probably have already subscribed. Um okay. There's just a little bit in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a, a love heart because it's Valentine's. We may as well do love hearts on Valentine's. What am I rabbiting on about? Cabochons making pendants. Hey guys. Um, over the next couple of days, I'm going to be setting up a, um, a free course, uh, to celebrate the 20,000 subscribers, which I'm super grateful. Um, <clears throat> the runoff looks like a dancing lady. What angle are you looking at? Oh, yes, the whole thing. Yes, it does. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. <laughs> I'm looking for that in the swirls, but you're looking at the whole thing. That's cool. Um, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to be setting up a free um, online call, live stream thing. Not on here, so you'll have to actually sign up to be on it. Um, but I will I'll post it in the community chat. And those of you that have be, have watched any of my other classes, um, I'll send out an email to you. Links for those are in the description of this. Um, and it's going to be on pricing your work, um, being willing to acknowledge the value of you, the value of your work, and 
not being at the effect of other people's points of view with regards to it because so often when we're pricing our work we just I mean I've seen it so many times on different groups as well as our group acrylic forum for fun and it where people say how much should I charge per square inch for my painting and that just makes me want to roll over in my grave I'm not even in it yet um it's not about a square inch thing guys so if you want to have some more awareness around how to price your work come and join me on that and I will post um I will in upcoming videos <laughs> I'll let you know how to how to sign up for that but it will be uh, about a week away yeah may even be next Sunday this time next week maybe um, so look out for that I'm going on Going in, baby. How's that? That's funky. Very funky. And that is probably the best shot. Uh, least amount of reflection I've ever had. Okay, so I'll try and remember that. Ooh, playing with the light dots. Two moons. I'm a twiddle. I'm a funny girl in a funny world. Life's fantastic when you're not plastic. Any silicon in there? No. How long do the cabochons dry before you set them into a form? Great question. Um, doing it the way I do it, where I rely on the um, glass and the glue and the thing that I'm setting into, what you call the form, um, I was after these little lines here. I'm sure about the rest of it. Let's see when it dries. Let's go left back. Um, so it does because it's more about the because I'm not relying on the paint to be set and cured and strong um you can do it a bit quicker but i really so what i've noticed is if you do it faster than two weeks two weeks is on average the length of time that acrylic paint takes to set and cure and become really 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 watertight um, and depending on what glue you use, having just applying the glue can actually soften the paint enough to have it bubble off the glass. Um, so I really wouldn't do it any earlier than two weeks. Um, mine tend to be a lot longer than that because I just pile them up in the corner. Have fun on your flight. Um, yeah, I just pile them up in a the corner and then when I've got time, I sit down and do a whole bunch of them. So some of them may have been there for six weeks and others only for two weeks. So I would definitely, 
definitely leave them at least minimum a week, um, preferably two weeks or longer. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ah, 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 yeah. Um, that one's cool. I love that. Yay. So, guys, any other questions or should we call it a day? We've been on for an hour. So, I'm, I mean, if you've got questions, I'm happy to assist. Otherwise, I'm going to um, leave this beautiful piece to dry. And I will show it to you and the capuchons in a video later this week once it is dry. If anybody loves it enough to want to ship it to their home, well, come pick it up. Hey, if ever you guys are in Rotorua, please, please, please come visit me. I would be so honoured if you chose to come and visit me. Um, just, yeah. Please, if you are around this part of the world and you desire to come play, can even book in and we can paint together. But you have to be willing to be on camera because I don't paint unless I'm on camera. <laughs> ah, time flies when we're having fun. Sure does, Isla. All right, guys. I am going to love and leave and I will see you in another video. I've got I've got some interesting stuff coming. Um, as I said, I'm going to paint that wallet and that canvas today. I've also got something already in the pipe works and I will show you the um, the ukulele. Sometimes I have to put actions to get the word to come out. Um, I will show you the videos of the ukulele being painted and um, I haven't decided yet whether I'll just do one video with painting both sides and finishing it and like on um, big thing or whether two videos Tina Marie says a balloon smash I've been thinking about balloon smashes and balloon smashes are not very well environmentally friendly according to somebody who posted on one of my balloon pops um so I've been thinking of another option. So I am going to do a balloon smash, but it's not going to be with a balloon. Dun, 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 la, 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 so check out the um, possibilities with that. All right, guys, I adore you. Have fun, take care, and I will see you very soon. Bye. Yeah, no, stay away from Doug. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.